just about set for action in San Antonio, and we take you out for a live look in at the Roadrunners, who are hoping to be field burners and speed by their visitors and score an important home victory. That's going to do it here in the studio, but don't worry, we'll be keeping your finger on the pulse of everything that's going on everywhere else across the country. But right now, it's time for kickoff, and ESPN's college football, Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreet are on the call. San Antonio, the home of Riverwalk and the home of the Roadrunners of UTSA. Hello, football fans. Brad Nessler here, along with Kirk Herbstreet in the booth and Aaron Andrews on the sidelines. This presentation of college football is brought to you by Spark, who reminds you that what you can measure, you can improve. Today's game is between the Bobcats and the Roadrunners. This one could go either way. It wouldn't surprise me one bit to see this game come down to whoever has the ball last in that final possession. Now let's take you down to midfield for the coin toss. Presented by Spark, who reminds you that what you can measure, you can improve. And the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. Gathered in at the 6. And he's taken down at the 28. Texas State, tell us what we should be on the lookout for from their offense. With this spread attack, they like to have four or five wide receivers on the field at once. They get the quarterback in the shotgun and give him a lot of room to make decisions. He'll have to get good protection from his line to make things work, though. A good quarterback knows when and how to improvise. And if he's got the skills, he can also turn a scramble into something big. Try to change the play. And he's leveled at the 32-yard line. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. We're going to be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. From their own 32-yard line, second down. Goes at the 43. And this place is rocking. And he doesn't like what he sees. He's going to change the play here. Looking to throw. He wants it all going long. Doesn't get there. Smart play. Being ready for the pass and swatting it away. it to the 35-yard line. And out comes the offense. They'll bring him down at about the 37-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That brings up second and nine. from their own 37-yard line. Second down. What? 
He's hit and taken down. Number eight on the tackle at the 39-yard line. That'll bring up 36. It's third down and six to go. Ball on the 39. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. 